I really enjoy fresh fruit salad for breakfast with yogurt and granola. And I'm gonna show you a little bit different. We have lots of lovely fresh fruit. I'm gonna use some pineapple, I'm gonna use some mango, and especially with mango and pineapple, you want it really ripe and soft and juicy. That's exactly what you want. So uh, mango, I'm gonna show you how to prepare this. Just press it, and when it's soft, but not too soft, it's ripe. If it's any way hard, you leave it, um, take it out of the package and whatever, don't put it into the fridge, it will never ripen in the fridge. So we have a lovely selection of fruit that we're going to put into our sa fresh fruit salad and you can pick and choose as you wish. But it's the syrup I want to show you, which is lovely and fragrant too. Uh, the pear, I've just peeled it literally, so it's lovely and ripe too. And this can be a fruit that can be quite hard and it's not very pleasant when it's, when it's firm. So just using a potato peeler, We've already done that, I'm gonna dice that up now. So the first thing I'll do, I'll start off with my mango. Okay, so there's a flat stone in the mango. I'm gonna use the uh, big knife. So just cut in here. I'm only just gonna use a small amount there. So you can see there's a stone there. And if you want to use the other half, then you cut it like that. But I'm only just making a small amount of this. The key is to use up as much fruit as possible. So holding it either side, and then maybe you'll find it easier using a smaller knife, just removing the skin here. Now you can do this with a potato peeler. Just watch the fingers when you're doing this. Okay. So just trim off any excess. So I'm going to have a little bowl here just for any of my trimmings, just for compost. You can keep that. So you can utilize everything, the skin, everything like that. You're wasting nothing. So mango is an exotic fruit. It's lovely over pavlova. Uh, on its own it's absolutely delicious and I'm going to go back to my big knife now and we're going to dice this into small little cubes here. So I like to spend a little bit of time kind of preparing the fruit. I'll use my bowl here and then just scrape that in there. So this is our lovely mango, lovely and fresh and juicy and exactly what I want. I'll just move that out of the way where you can see this. So slice and then long little lengths, watch the fingers. I'm using obviously the big chef's knife and then cut this into small little cubes. Proper name for this cube is a little brumoz. You can do small ones, big ones, whatever. So, okay, that's the first thing. This is my first fruit. Next thing is the pineapple. So the pineapple, what I've done, using a serrated edge knife. So some knife like that would work really well, a serrated edge knife. If you use a knife like this, it's gonna blunt it really, really quickly. So just go along the side of the pineapple and like you can buy it now, it is um, already kind of like uh, ripened obviously, but uh, peeled wedges, you don't have to buy a full, a full pineapple, but I love it. And I love it actually, um, fresh pineapple, now that's the little core, I don't want to use that. I love it uh, with rice pudding. So if you just pan fry the pineapple, just with a little bit of vanilla extract, a little bit of butter, it's so nice. So it's, and if you want it really special, you could put some rum into it. But we are talking about fresh fruit salad, not rice pudding some rum roasted pineapple but it does work really well so it's lovely and juicy it's gorgeous so just never ever take your eyes off what you're doing when you're using a big knife it's really important so that should be enough there we'll go back and i'll finish that okay keep wiping your hands and wipe your board so the next one now we're going to do is our pear so remember what i've done i've just simply peeled it with a potato peeler we're going to remove the core so just using a knife, just simply slide this down here and just remove that. So that's what you have there. Now I do love pear. I love it poached. So I'll just keep it flat using the smaller knife. Okay, and this might be a little bit better to show you this. So keeping your hand nice and flat and remove that. And the same for this here. Lovely, okay. So that's gonna go in again to our compost, bring it over and then we're gonna dice this. So just to recap, it's in the bowl. We have the mango, roughly about half a mango. We also have the pineapple, and that's about a quarter of uh, the pineapple. And what we're gonna do now is just dice the pear. I do like peeling the pear, to be honest with you. You can keep the skin on, but I think it's nicer teeth. That's just a personal thing. You can obviously wash it, and um, just as long as you remove the core, but you can keep the skin on. Okay, so that's, three fruit in there. So you can pick and choose whatever kind of fruit you like. Plums. Plums I like, they wouldn't be my favorite fruit, but they are really nice. And we're going to use just some of the plums here, just give them a little twist. There's a little stone in the plum. So we just remove this, 
just give that a twist and then with the knife just simply take that out so be careful that as i say the hardest part here is doing all the chopping and then you can make it ahead and it'll keep in your fridge it's actually one of these things that will keep for a couple of days and that works really really well it actually improves with flavor so this is where i am keeping the skin on now plums are really nice in a cake you know you can poach them you can poach them in a little bit of red wine so they work really really well with that so i'm giving you lots of tips here okay now what are we going to add into this so we're going to add in some passion fruit we're going to add in some passion fruit so just use and i'm going to just open this here and i'm going to show you this here now i'm just going to use a small teaspoon so this is what the passion fruit looks like the seeds of the passion fruit which works really well in this so i'm going to use one passion fruit in here so scrape that in so that's going to give a lovely lovely fresh flavor now you can mix some of this passion fruit if you like with some um, yogurt maybe for passion fruit yogurt watermelon i've just literally uh, diced the watermelon just a small amount that's what it looks like there uh, the twins love this so just dice it nice and small again so that's already done and then we're going to start now getting some nice flavors in there so we're going to zest some lime so great this and i'm using my grater here so this is like a micro plate see the way i'm putting it on the bowl so it's kind of taking the pressure i'm not holding it up like that so you need to be careful because these are really really sharp these graters and then some orange zest so orange and lime we're using but we're going to use the juice in this too so i'm not making a traditional um stock syrup which is sugar and water that's not what we're doing we're keeping this really really fresh and fragrant so i love the zest of orange so if you see in there now you have your lovely fruit you have the lime zest the orange juice zest and the lime zest works really well we're going to put in them our orange juice and then we're going to put in the lime juice so using this small little juicer here we're going to squeeze all this just into the actual bowl so holding it over squeezing it in like that so these are brilliant little juicers like if you're doing you know lemon for fish they work really really well now lime I love lime i have to say so this is going to be quite tiny and tart it's the sweetness of the fruit that works really really well so we have another couple of ingredients to go into our syrup and then that will be that ready just give here a little wipe so we're going to use vanilla extract it's uh, far more natural than the essence so just a little drizzle of that and then we're going to use some apple juice so this is a nice uh, unsweetened apple juice it's a really really beautiful um apple juice so that goes in there there's some contrast he's at uh, the apple juice and um, the apple farmer is his name and he's based in Clonmel and he's is um, in Neen actually in Tipperary and his apple juice is fantastic so some mint this is really gorgeous so some lovely big leaves of mint now a good tip for you if you're trying to keep herbs is some tissue paper cold water and the mint will happily keep in the fridge no problem at all you know for up to a week so that will be the same for time basil is one of those tricky herbs to keep so just a little container like that it, um, with some tissue paper and put that over there into your fridge so roll this all up now we're going to cut this really really fine so i think mint is the key herb for this watch the fingers when you're doing this and of course mint is so good for digestion so we're just going to chop that a little bit more and then that's going to go in here now so what i like to do with the fruit now is mix this and then if you can leave this in the fridge but what i'm going to do now is add in my soft fruits so i have some raspberries and also some uh, blueberries you can cut them in half if you cut the blueberries and put in all you know all your soft fruits is that they'll kind of then um, soften in the syrup overnight and you want that lovely bit of a texture some lovely strawberries hard to beat irish strawberries when they're in season so we're just going to cut these just into small cubes or slices whatever you want but it's the syrup I think that really makes it and the freshness of the fruit. Okay, one more strawberry. So these are particularly really nice and juicy. We get all our berries and fruits from Pat Clark. He's based in Stamullen and he's one of the best growers in the country and he handpicks all his strawberries. So when they're in season, there's nothing like um, Irish strawberries. So that's our lovely fruit. Let's have a little look just to recap. So we have some pear, peach, mango, pineapple, some lovely strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, some passion fruit in there, some watermelon, you can use any kind of melon. 
And then what we're gonna do is just serve this up. We're gonna talk about some lovely yogurt in a moment. So if you can leave this for about an hour or longer, or even overnight in the fridge, without maybe the soft fruits, remember that tip. You're gonna get so much flavor, trust me. I try if I do this in the morning, let it just sit, put it into the fridge, but always kind of serve it at room temperature, it's always nicer. So I'm gonna to talk to you about the yogurt we're gonna use. So this is from Cologne Farm, they're based in Wexford. So this is one of their um, lovely yogurts. Uh, there's no sugar in the actual yogurt here. And this is their compote and it's done with some black currants from Wexford, so it is. Des Jeffers, a really good uh, grower there. So really, really top quality. We're gonna mix this and there's a lovely tartness. You just mix this all together. So in the other little one here, or the bigger one, should I say, we have some rhubarb from Wexford. So that part of the country seems to be really good for producers. This is all part of the Simply Better collection. So we're just gonna spoon this on here. So see the way I've mixed the actual uh, yogurt together. And then for a little bit of texture, these are the red berry granola. So Siobhan, Foods from Matt and Rye, she produces this for Simply Better. And she's a wonderful lady, I really admire her. She also makes the mince pies and torts. It's, uh, we're coming up to the summer, we're talking mince pies, but she's a wonderful, a wonderful producer. So this is her granola here. So she also does a roasted nut seed granola, which is very different. I like the berry one, and you can see the dried cranberries and the raspberries. And then we sprinkle this all here. So lots of texture, be generous with the granola. You can get larger boxes, but I think, you know, this here, you know, you'll get about maybe probably four servings from a little tub like this. So that is my exotic fresh fruit salad. Uh, infused with some um, lime juice, orange juice, some fresh mint, passion fruit and some apple juice. I hope you try this. It's an absolutely beautiful, I was going to say dessert but it's not. I usually enjoy it for breakfast and with really good yogurt from Cologne Farm and Granola. I think everyone will enjoy this and you can use any fruit. So give this a go. It's a really, really beautiful recipe. We enjoy it uh, in our house here and I hope you try this. Okay, happy cooking and stay safe everyone.